Welcome back. Now joining us is Alan Spiru Guzik. Thank you so much for taking the time. Thank you. So your research is a unique intersection of chemistry, machine learning, and quantum computing. How do these fields interact in what you do in your work? All of those fields have something in common. They are technology drivers that are transforming society in the 21st century. Quantum computing is a huge uh, movement. Uh, several companies and several governments are investing a lot in those technologies. And my group was one of the pioneers that started thinking about how to simulate molecules and materials with it. Same with AI and automation. Uh, very early on, about 10 years ago, we started thinking about how to use AI for chemistry, and about five years ago, how to use robotics for chemistry. Just found out there's 11 symposia on automation and material science just in the MRS. So I'm lucky to kind of start in the fields a little bit earlier than somebody else. And that's why those two disparate things are, are, are research done in my lab. So you touched on this a little bit, but how do you see AI elevating what we can accomplish in science at large? It's not only AI, but the combination of AI and automation. AI is kind of like the brain, but we are nothing without our hands, right? If you ask an AI, and this is something I took from Susan Gildert from Sanctuary, she says, ask an AI to make you a cup of tea. Let's see how well it does, mm -hmm. right? It, would, it takes a while to actually do all the planning and all the execution for actually making you a good cup of tea. All of that automation is crucial for us to do material science. Uh, so I think the key to accelerating materials discovery is a combination of AI and automation so that a lot of the tedious processes that we do and a lot of the experimentation is accelerated. Uh, and also we choose smarter experiments to do after we did the past batch of experiments. So do you think scientists should be cautious when it comes to AI or fully embrace it? Look, I mean, there's also some caution in the sense that you don't want to have an AI control your synthesizer and the synthesizer make poison without you building the appropriate guardrails. So in terms of care, you have to care about the guardrails. Some people are experimenting a lot with large language models and chemistry materials. They have to think about what will be the consequences of these models instructing the robot to make something that is not so for example, healthy or safe. So, but if you build a safety guardrails and you are responsible, then you should fully embrace it because it's gonna help us uh, accelerate how we conduct science. And when we're talking about acceleration, it seems like quantum computing is just on the horizon. Is this going to be a game changer in scientific research? Yes. I have to say yes, yes, yes. Uh, <laughs> I a uh, big believer on that. That's why uh, this is the longest lasting research line in my research group. I started it when I was a postdoc and then I started as a professor at Harvard in 2006. Since then, I've been working on quantum computing for materials. It's almost going to be 20 years. Uh, quantum computing promises to be exponentially faster than classical computing and simulating materials and molecules. So once you have a, a, a quantum computer large enough, you will have exact simulation of molecules and materials. Game changer. So setting the future aside, what computational ideas and methods can scientists do to help their ideas right now, today? So this is the reason why my lab has always like three or four things going on, mm -hmm. right? I always think about what's 20 years from now, what's 10 years from now, and what's now. The things that we do right now is uh, enabling uh, these automated systems to do chemistry and material science in, an, uh, in a very smart way. So I'm lucky enough to be leading a very large uh, organization called the Acceleration Consortium at the University of Toronto that is helping us build this uh, self-driving laboratories at scale. Mm -hmm. So to accelerate material science and chemistry in a variety of applications. Right, fascinating. Thank you so much, Alan, for taking the time and talking with us. Thank you very much.